So I'm almost back at the beaver pond. This is as far as back as I can get on my bike. It's about five miles from the house. And then I walk from here. On the way over here, I saw a snake. So let me show you that. It was a cotton mouth. It's also called a water moccasin. So let me show you that. I don't want to get any closer than that. But you can see his <clears throat> shape of his head. You can tell it's poisonous. A triangle head. Uh, he's about two and a half feet long, fat. So I believe it to be a cotton mouth, but he hasn't opened his mouth yet. get a stick. <clears throat> oh! Yeah, that was cotton mouth. Uh, he's just struck, but I could see the white in his mouth. So I'm not a professional snake handler, so I'm Ozeon. So you're riding your bike through the woods and you get a spider web on your face and one of these is crawling on your face. It's a banana spider. Just another hazard to bicycling in Texas. So this is the beaver pond. And this is the beaver lodge right here. And yesterday when I came here, I just stood here for a minute and the beaver came out and looked at me and splashed his tail and, and swam away. But this lodge is really cool. First I thought it was a log jam the first time I came back here. And then you pick up a log. You can see it's all gnawed off. So the beaver dam is about a good hundred yards back that way. And the water is backing up this, this channel over here and all the way back up into there. It's huge. And after the first dam, there's a second dam about another 75 yards past the, the big dam. There's a little dam. But when I was down here yesterday, the water, we had a lot of rain and it's been washed out the second dam. But I'll take you down there and show you that. So over here on the side, below the beaver lodge, I believe this is his uh, alternate entrance over here. That's the hole he can slide in and out of. And you can see all kinds of prints and stuff here. That's the back entrance to his lodge. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna set out this other camera. I gotta go back to the dam. So this area here, 
you see all this water flowing through here. This is off off flow from the beaver dam here. This is the side of the pond. And it's creating this big swamp out this way, which is really cool. It's more water for all the animals out here. So it's really cool that the uh, flood, the d uh, water comes gushing over the dam, but the dam never uh, gets broken here. The way it's designed is all the big stuff in the back and he has all mud in the front. I mean, you, it's like a shoreline along here. You can walk along the front of the dam. It's all mud here. And then it's all big stuff in the back. So most of my shots from here, I hang my camera on that tree over there. I've done uh, some with the camera over here, but I get reflection uh, from the sun and that sets off the camera so that doesn't work too well. But this is the beaver pond going up. His lodge is up about 100 yards up this way. And then the second uh, dam that they have uh, that got washed away a few days ago in the rain is down that way about 75 yards and I've had the camera set up down there as well so out of all the video I've got out here I've got one video of otters and let me show you that it's so cool But those otters are awesome. I want to get more videos of the otter, but I don't know if they come down to the dam that much. They might just be stay out in the middle area. I don't know. But I'm going to set up my camera now right here again. All right, I got that camera set here. Getting across the beaver dam is not easy. All right, I'll take you down to the uh, second beaver dam. What's left of it, it washed away. I'll see if the beavers are, have started uh, reconstruction yet. So, this is all that's left of the lower beaver dam right here. But it looks like they're starting to repair it already. This wasn't here yesterday, all this. But that's all new. See, there's a natural log there you can see that they started on. And then there's another log jam going down that way. So over here I've had my camera on that tree over there. Is where most of my shots have been from over here.